All right, so where we left off, right? Um, we had a Rails app um, where we had slash students. Nope, we had slash restaurants. <laughs> and we could go to slash restaurants slash two, and we could see a little bit. And we had this, we built an anchor tag right here to get us back to restaurants, right? Now the thing the thing about Rails is um, it it wants to make us do better conventions than just having anchor tags because anchor tags is hard coding. Um, whereas if we were to do something else that was a little bit more modular, it would like lead to better coding results in the long run. If we had some sort of alias that we could assign right in our routes, like to be like, hey. If like they ever do a link to this path, it should go here. Then whenever you had to change that in your routes, you would only have to change it once. So that was the principle behind which this next thing that I want to show you is built. Um, and I want to show you this part from the documentation. This might be a little bit more difficult for um, for like you to just immediately read, but it's going to be something that you're a little bit more familiar with. Um, you're going to be pretty a little bit more familiar with as time goes on. You notice that they there's a third way there's a second part of the uh, documentation, and they suggest that there's this third part called as patient, right? For for the specific uh, example of patients hash show, right? And then down here they say that you can write a link, uh, like an ERB link, that says link to and then something called patient record. And something called patient path as patient. Can we take a guess at what that's looking, what that's doing? What is it? Maybe it's like a, a temporary name for a path. Yeah, it's it's a it's a name for a path, definitely. I wouldn't call it temporary even. Um, but basically we let me let me let's test this out in the same way that we would do it in ours. Um, I'm actually going to start with th with this one because we're working on this. I'm just going to say as restaurants, right? And I think I need to put it as a string. Yep. I want to show you what this gives us. Um, so we have this. I'm going to now go to, there's two ways to access this. I believe you can just call uh, Rails routes. And I'll print this thing that is way too ugly for me to look at. You can instead do uh, Rails slash info slash routes, and you can find, whenever you're working in, in development mode, you can go to this page, and it will list out the routes that it gives you that you set up in your routes. So you'll notice that we have this show page that we already shared, right? Um, and it's got like this get to restaurant slash ID. That's saying that there is a route in your in your Rails app for restaurant slash ID, right? And saying that it, the control route action is restaurant slash hash club show. We remember coding that, right? Now, we also have this get to restaurants that leads to restaurants index. That's also something we're familiar with. But we put this as here and we said as restaurants and it's now saying that there's this thing called restaurants underscore path. And that's something we can use, right? So I'm gonna hop back to this link too, real quick in this ex example. And this first part seems like it's going to be, when you do an anchor tag, right, there's two parts, right? You do the href and you do what you're putting the link around, right? So in this case, in this example, it's patient record, that's probably just the text, right? If we're taking a guess based on this documentation. And then there's this path right here. Can someone tell me what, when you put something in parentheses, what that means in Ruby? It's an argument, right? So this is the show page right here. Why would that need to take an argument? The argument of the ID is the yeah, in order to do a show path, we're going to need to specify what we're linking to. In this case, because we're doing the index page, do we need an argument at all? No. 
We guess? No, right? Because it's just, we, we assume that it's going to be all restaurants, right? So I'm, so I'm going to say that this, like, as restaurants, we now have this restaurants path, and I'm going to just try this out right here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to our index page, and, or our show page. And I'm going to have, I'm going to, like, basically have this. I'm going to write this as go back to the index. And I'm just going to call restaurants path. Cool. Let's see what it does. Cool. We're back to Gajot's Grill. I'm going to click this, and it works. We've instead assigned this to a path right here. And we've been able to, like, first off, this is way easier to write than like an A, href, things like that. We can say, hey, there's a restaurant's path right here. Um, and because we've def defined that using that as thing right there, um, we can now use it as a link. I bet, and we're getting to the parts that I didn't test out, um, I bet if we just called this cheeses, let's see what happens um, in our rails slash info slash routes. We've got a cheeses path now. And I can now go to our show page, and let's try cheeses path. Cool. Let's try this again. I'm going to refresh to make sure. And it still works. Restaurants is what you want to call this, though, for the reason of, like, re readability, right? Now, we just did a bunch there. Uh, what was the most confusing part of this? Do we kind of have a handle on this? We said this as restaurants. And it gave us this thing called restaurants path. That's something we can use, right? Now, uh, for this next step, I want to now make it so that now that we're on this index, I want to make it so that we can click in and out. This is way too small. You can click in and out. Now this marquee tag, does that start later? Until we refresh, awesome. Um, cool. So. How can we go about um, how can we go about making this into a path we can use? Does anyone remember from looking at the documentation? Let's hop back to it. Go ahead. So just gonna say that if we can add a path into this as um, colon restaurant uh, res, res, path, restaurants ID. I think. As restaurants. Are, so that would read like, yeah, yeah. Um, no, that's that's like a good first impulse, right? Uh, it's as like like because. But what we're looking for here is something that could like we could then write as like as restaurant path, right? So like as restaurant is a pretty good one because it's saying hey we're going to one restaurant, right? Um, so that's going to be the convention right here, but that's not a bad impulse. Um, and I can pull up this documentation again, and you see how they do this with patient right here. So remember. The docs are your best friend. And this is like, you scroll right down and it shows you how to do this. Um, now, uh, now we have this, now let's check to see if I save this, if we can then look at it in Rails slash info slash routes. Cool, now we have a restaurant path. And it says to get, so this, this is the same thing we saw earlier. Um, if you remember, like, but they've added this new helper for us. Like, this was blank a second ago, right? And now we can do the last step. We can, we're going here, right? Um, I'm going to just copy this, and we can use this as a reference. How do, could someone tell me how we would make each restaurant show the name and then link to that restaurant? 
This one's a tough. This one's a toughie. Uh, late to restaurant at the main. No, I think about the line below. That one, right? This one. Oh, we, we want to make it so that for each restaurant we're rendering out, uh, it links. So I want to make it so that, uh, I'll just show you what I want it to look like. I want this to be a link to the in and out. I want this to be a link to Grojatsky Grill. Oh, um, for that? Yeah. Uh, you do that link to make sure I can copy paste this into the loop. Okay, so like, we would do something like, we'll copy and paste this for now. Yeah. Cool. Do we need to put this in Squiddy Place? Um, no. Actually, you want it to display clickable, so I think we do. Well, so you were actually right the first time. When we're in Squiddy Boys already, this is all Ruby. So restaurant.name is just something we can call right here. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not going to pop up as link underscore to restaurant. It's going to pop up as whatever. Yeah, it's a, this is a helper. It's going to run code for us. And uh, after this, we can inspect it in the console and I'll show you what it gives us. Um, cool. The next part is restaurant underscore path. Sort of path and at restaurant. So do, I don't think we don't have an at restaurant here. Cool. Let's try that. I'm going to put these in LAs for us. Why do you think it's restaurant? Mm -hmm. Because you had the other one was stored as patient, and it was it was an instance variable of that patient. It would show you that patient if you clicked on the record. And so now we're trying to click on the record for a restaurant name, and we want to see that restaurant in particular. Cool. And so we're using the item that was checked to in the block. Great. Let's take a look. All right, so if we highlight down here, can you all see this? This is really small. Mm -hmm. But you can see this linking to restaurant one. Let's click on it. Oh, I did something wrong. But look, it works. Cool. So this is now working. Um, and I'm going to inspect it right, right now. Just because, you know how we wrote a link to? When it shows up in our console right here, mm -hmm. or when it renders out as an href. This is Ruby doing our work for us. Rails is has like this like little method that will turn your link to into an, an mm -hmm. href for you. So it's not going to show like a link to in here. It's just going to show what you want, it, right? And I want to like point something out here because like really a path it shouldn't really take a restaurant. The fact that we can feed this an entire restaurant is kind of insane. Like. Which would make way more sense if it were would be if we were like restaurant.id, right? And that still works. Like really, like when we're doing a path, we're looking for the ID. But Ruby is smart enough to be like, oh, you're feeding me an object for a, for a link. I'm probably going to need its ID, right? And Ruby is even smart enough that if I did this. If I got rid of the path altogether, just because I named it restaurant path, and because I'm feeding it a restaurant, it'll like know that it's a show page. I can just write restaurant and it'll be like, cool, yeah, we're going to a show page, got it. This is what happens when we use conventions in Ruby. It'll just allow us to do these crazy, these crazy things. And now, it like, now this works, and we've got a, a working app. Cool? So everyone see how like this works? I understand that this seems insane, um, and I'm like, you can always play with it to see when this breaks and when it doesn't. What you have to do to conventions to make it break, but everyone kind of understand how this path thing works, and like how what as does for us. It creates a path that we can use, and now we don't have to use hrefs. And I would like uh, for the code challenge, don't use an href. Like get used to the paths. Definitely. What's up? So this is, um, sorry, yeah. by using as, it automatically gives us access to link to. So link to, the keyword. yeah, link to is something that we always, we have access to just whenever in Ruby. Um, 
But this second argument requires a path. I'm actually, I'm curious now. I might be wrong on this if you could do this. I'm, this is now just me playing around. Oh, right, it's restaurant slash one. Yes, you can just write a string here, and it will work um, as you want it to. So like link to also works for strings. Don't do it this way. Use this. Or like restaurants, path, restaurant, something like that. But this, this is how it works. Now I'm going to show you one last trick, and then we can go. Um, but basically, this right here, this, this sort of aliasing is really helpful. And now I'm going to show you another way that Ruby can make your, what's up? I have a question. So um, from my understanding, that restaurant after the comma is the block, right? That restaurant is the, is the active record object. No, no, I'm just wondering where we get it from. Is you have that other show that is sent to as restaurant. So are you getting it from somewhere else or are you using the block? The, the block, okay. straight up. So we're feeding this restaurant right from here. Um, so it's not always going to be like this. There will be linked to in other ways. But right now, we have an at restaurants that we fed down from the index. And we're calling it each. And each object in here is an active record object, right? And one of them is, a re like each one of them is, represents a restaurant, just because we coded it that way. Now, um, at this point, this, this code is really helpful. Um, but I, I promise you that Ruby makes things really easy when you're using conventions, right? So I'm going to comment all of this out. Yep. And we can hop to, over to here. Resources. Cool. And you can see, I can just call, say resources, restaurants. Or restaurant, I believe. Nope, plural. And let's see what this does for us. First, let's see if this still works. Cool. Our code still works, but I want to now go to Rails slash info slash routes. And we can close this. And we can zoom out. And now it's given us all of our RESTful routes. And it's given us paths for each one, right? So, um, so these are all restaurant paths. These are both restaurants path, right? Because when you're creating, you're posting to restaurants. Now, you remember how we were drilling Restular into your brain and it just seemed kind of arbitrary? It's because it's really helpful for when you're like doing basic uh, convention over configuration stuff. But you notice now we now have every RESTful route that we can use. Now. Um, does anyone have any questions about this? Is this, it's cool, right? Now, one thing that, that they are doing right here, they're, I mean, they're doing a bunch of different things right here, but you notice this only thing? This is, this is considered best practice. Um, and like, just for security reasons, we only have an index and show right now. So when you specify only these two, um, like, it's going to now only generate these paths, and I can refresh to show that. And that's just like, you don't want to leave doors into your app that like, for no reason. Um, especially because Rails can be so helpful for you and just like start arbitrarily doing things for you. Specifying like, hey, actually only produce these routes is like the first step to a secure app. So while we won't like, we won't like fail you on the code challenge for not including that only, like, it's definitely best practice, and you should just get into the habit of doing it. And um, one last thing I will say. Um, so first off, is that only thing? Does that make sense? It's just the views that you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or specifically, yeah, the uh, restful actions you want. And the other thing I will say is I hatched these out. Um, never for, Don't forget how to write this. Um, because, uh, like, this is really helpful for the seven restful actions. But the moment that on like the code challenge or something, I'm like, hey, I want something where you type into a search 
and it like goes to a different route, like and it like posts to a different route, and that yields something different. You're going to need to know how to write a custom route, right? There's a lot of situations where a custom route is helpful. Like anytime you're not doing just like a basic up create, update, or delete on like on an item, right? So if you're on the internet, I think you can think of like several things. Liking a post is an example, something like that. Um, so before you start using resources for everything, make sure you know how to write this. Just to make sure that you're prepared for the code challenge and to make sure you're prepared to like be a good Rails developer. Um, and the second thing I'll note is um, like this whole only thing is just, um, there is a pattern that I've noticed that Mod 2 students definitely do, where like when you get like good at building like the crowd, the like basic RESTful routes, like which you won't have to worry about for like another day or two, um, like uh, I've noticed that students will just start doing like def index stuff show and they'll just type out all of the routes at the same time and put in resources. Uh, the best way to code anything, but especially like when you're dealing with Rails is code each method only as you need it. So build that def index, go all the way down to the to its view, code it out at least a little bit, and then move on to the next one. Don't just start coding out every method and like giving every 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 source. Um, and I promise you, you will have a better time as a developer. Um, and it will force you to think a little bit more about like like how this all works. But that's all I have for you. So are there any questions before I wrap up? Can I see the path that the resource is made again? Sure. So it's made up from... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't worry okay. about the emails. Um, okay. Action Mailer is just a thing that it'll provide for you. Oh, so because... Oh, so before you wrote the only, it had a whole bunch more things, but now you're like, you know, I, I, I didn't want all of those things, but I only wanted to show, to have those two. That's yeah, let's take a look again what it did. I like only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see how now it's got like all the, like you've got the edit, you've got, it actually says right here, you've got show, index, create, new, edit, show, update, update and destroy. So if you can use only, then why would you be create a, a custom? For any time you don't want to just do one of these, right? Like sometimes you might want to like restaurants hash search is my like general example. Like if you need like a form that like, if you were like, send like send me a string and then I'm going to like write something that only produces the restaurants that match the string, huh. right? Or a filter where I'm like, hey, I only want vegan only options. Then you're going to be doing a different path that's not just show all the restaurants. You're going to be like show vegan restaurants or something like that. So you'd still have resources for your basic path, and then in addition to that, you would also have yes. custom. Yeah, so you could you could end up like with something like this, and then you would have like get to resources slash vegan to restaurants slash v hash vegan as vegan restaurants, and that's totally something you expect or. That's totally something that's normal in like Ruby code. I'm not sure like that this is the best way to write a vegan thing. You would usually have a more modular filter than having a different route for everything. But um, but like this is like having this get and then having the resources, very normal. Um, so like get used to writing both because both of them are going to be important for different things. Cool. All right. Um, well, in that case, you're good. Yeah. One one last question. Totally. Okay, it's just that, um, all right. Cool, and I will upload this code and I will upload the videos. Cool?